What's up everybody, Anthony with Granddaddy Herbs back again with another video, yes. In today's video, it's gonna be all about the Anaheim Reptile Super Show. Super excited to give you guys this video. I had an absolute blast, uh, couldn't have been more fun. Um, so the way I'm gonna do this video is I'm gonna kinda narrate and tell you a little bit about um, each part of the show um, because I just, I kept turning the camera on and I filmed literally everything. So, uh, kind of a little bit of a backstory. Uh, me and my buddy AJ over at AJ's Reptiles and Austin over at, <clears throat> I can't even talk, at Ball and Chain Constrictors, uh, we had a plan, okay, that we knew that we were all going to go to the show. And so um, AJ wanted to make some t-shirts, brilliant idea, and then go figure he made some, uh, some awesome stickers. So you guys, if you were at the show, you probably saw these. So see if the camera will focus. If you were at the show, you would probably saw these pretty much everywhere and I'm gonna show you guys a ton of footage of that um, but AJ asked me to Photoshop our faces um, on the three amigos um, for the t-shirts and this was the product we wanted to have a bright colored t-shirt that way it would stand out and then uh, we've got all of our logos on there we've got our faces and these were a huge hit at the reptile expo um, and if you were there you probably saw the back of our shirts uh, <laughs> AJ had on the back of his, it said top, uh, mine said middle, and Austin's said bottom. Uh, you guys you guys can have your imagination uh, go wild. So here you're gonna see me pretty much taking off and uh, recording a shot of me and Austin heading from my house over to the Reptile Super Show. What's up everybody? This is day one, Saturday morning. We are on our way to the Anaheim Reptile Expo or the uh, Reptile Super Show that is located in Anaheim. Uh, got my BFF driving behind me in that uh, Nissan truck. You can probably barely see him. That's Austin over at Ball and Chain Constrictors. Oh yeah. Uh, on our way to go meet up with AJ over at AJ's Reptiles. Um, he's got a little booth set up with uh, one of his buddies. Um, but we got some cool custom shirts made. I'm gonna show you guys those when we get there. It's gonna match the color of the hat. Uh, but yeah, let's get right into the show and start off this vlog. Yeet! Ah, there's that sexy beast right there. Balls on chin constrictors. And uh, we ended up staying at the Marriott. So uh, it was actually a really, really nice hotel. It, it was way more advanced than some of the more recent hotels I've, I've been to. Game face. There's our discount code right there. <laughs> <laughs> what does your hand smell like? <laughs> He's like, doom, doom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Get it, Daddy. Get that. Woo! Oh, you were enjoying it, too. Let's just. Oh, sh. A choker. It's a choker. Oh snap! Oh Hey, dibs. Free. <laughs> Repeat that, please. Whatever. Repeat what you just did. Yeah, Anthony, stop showing me your. <laughs> Come here. Um, but when I got to the expo, the lines were massive. I mean, the biggest I've ever seen. And I get asked all the time, you know, um, what do you think about the reptile hobby? Is it dying? Uh, you know, what's my opinion? Um, and what I can honestly say from being there, seeing the lines after not being at a show in nearly two years that the hobby is not dead and it's bigger than it's ever been. So you can see the, the line is just absolutely ridiculous, but it did go by fast. So once they actually opened the door, um, the line actually went in. They weren't doing any type of capacity caps or you know monitoring the amount of people coming and going. So that was a good thing. It was nice to be in an area where it was free and, and there wasn't any restrictions from my point of view. So, you know, we get there, you know, we start walking around. AJ's buddy, Brian, um, shout out to Brian, even though he charged me full price for Repti Chip. Shout out to Brian Bode Reptiles. Here's one of his stickers. You probably recognize this logo. 
but he had a booth there and AJ was uh, vending a, a little small corner of his booth um, and it was awesome because we had a place that we can go to and drop off our stuff and and whatnot um, so Basically, the first part of the first day was us walking around, just kind of getting a feel for the show. Hey, Brian. I love you, baby. I love you too, man. <laughs> you know, we had some beers. What's nice about the Reptile Expo is that we're allowed to walk around with alcoholic drinks. They even serve them there. Uh, so it, it was nice, it, you know, kind of kind of calm the nerves. I don't do good with large crowds, and it kind of helped me calm my nerves. So anyway, but one of my favorite parts of the show is that <laughs> AJ, you know he's you know a social butterfly went around and was talking to people and whatnot but he was putting these stickers on anything and everyone that he could possibly basically run into so you're gonna see a bunch of clips of <laughs> of us walking around and me filming him slap these stickers so uh, pretty pretty awesome uh, pretty funny it wasn't meant to, to to harm anybody or anything like that it was meant to just be really funny dun -dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun -dun. And uh, most people that you know ended up running into it got a really good kick out of it. Um, ironically, on social media that evening and even the next day, I can't tell you how many people um, were talking about seeing this sticker everywhere at the show and on everything. And uh, we even put it on a few like trash cans and few uh, other places near the hotel room inside and, and outside so it was it was kind of funny it was kind of like the meme of the show uh, but the first day we pretty much just kind of walked around we're, we're saying hi to all of our good friends uh, you know just getting a feel of the show just kind of embracing um, the feeling of actually being at a show and uh, there was a ton of animals a lot to see um, of course there was a ton of ball pythons but there was a ton of other um, of, uh, of other reptiles too, a ton of colibrids this time around, um, and actually seen a few retic booths. Um, you know, and you get your turtles, your bitter dragons, your chameleons. Uh, there was definitely a variety. It wasn't. I wouldn't say it was strictly dominated by ball pythons, even though the people that sell them they definitely have the larger displays um, or booths compared to, to most other people. Uh, but so <clears throat> we started drinking a little early. You know, we started getting a little tired and a little hungry, so we ended up going. Across the street to the Hilton, and we ended up getting some food. Here we are at lunchtime. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that smile! That was money right there. And we got Doctor Disrespect right here. It's <laughs> 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 already gagging. <laughs> <laughs> then we ended up going back to the show for only a little bit longer then we realized uh, we need to check into our hotel and we're getting kind of tired let's go rest for a little bit so we ended up in our hotel had a bunch of hotel shenanigans you know me and the boys uh, what'd you expect <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, try that one again oh there it is we ended up there for a little bit and then we went back down and finished off uh, the show and then we ended up at the reptile auction. Now that was a lot of fun, I had never been to one, um, mainly because I had, was never able to go to a show on a Saturday due to my last two jobs that I had. But luckily this job I, I'm currently working for, they allow me to, uh, to request days off which is awesome so I can definitely start going to more Saturday reptile shows. So yeah, we finished off the night there. Uh, went to the reptile auction, it, it was fun. Um, and then from there, it was really, really cool because me and the boys, you know, it was, I think, like 8.30, 9 o'clock, we're like, you know, we wanna go out, we wanna go do some stuff, go go have some fun. So the good thing about us being in Anaheim is that we uh, were right next to Disneyland. So we ended up going to downtown Disney and we had some food um, and we had these things. And I'm gonna butcher, I'm gonna butcher the, the name of it, but they're called like beignets. So it's like a little, Cream puff with powder sugar type of deal. Beignet. I should take a picture of that. It's a powdered donut. And he dropped his already. Some beignet. Oh, ah. Look at this commercial right here. Oh man, beautiful. Love it again. Um, those were really good. 
And uh, you know, we hung out down there for a little while. Um, <laughs> funny thing is, is that uh, uh, when we first got there, we realized when we were at the gate to get in, when they were doing security, that all of us had switchblades on us. So <laughs> we had to come up with a game plan to get our, switch, our switchblades into Disneyland. I know it sounds horrible, um, but I've had mine for like nine years. We've all had our switchblades for a very long time. We didn't want to lose it. We didn't want to stash it. So uh, we came up with the plan, uh, passed them off to um, AJ. AJ did the most genius thing ever, uh, putting them under his mask when he put it around the uh, the security gate and we got him through, put him in our pocket and forgot about it, except for Brian. Brian's got confiscated because <laughs> he wasn't paying attention. <laughs> We were talking about it before going in that we were gonna hide him and somehow he just didn't hear it. So whatever. Um, then we ended up back at our hotel and it was a wrap for the night. Pretty much just kind of hung out, drank maybe one beer and crashed out. So day two. Oh snaps, granddaddy Herb's keeping it fresh in the house. Here we are in the parking structure. Gotta put a lot of my stuff away because it is day two of the Reptile Expo. So we're gonna see what we're gonna get into. Probably not gonna be here all day. Me and AJ over at AJ's Reptiles are probably gonna take off to go watch the football game. Uh, you know, first game of the season for our teams. Go Chargers, uh, screw the Chiefs. Sorry AJ, screw the Chiefs. Um, but yeah, let's see what we're gonna get into. Um, I've got my eye set on one animal, thanks to AJ. I've seen this animal many times before. Um, my good buddy Mike over at the Reptile Shop, and, or Mike, uh, Mike Roscoe. Um, He's got some false water cobras, and AJ bought a pair. It made me really want to get one. I've been wanting a larger colubrid to help me with, you know, hatchlings and whatnot that um, are kinked or don't make it to kind of uh, be a, a way to dispose of those animals instead of having to put them down myself. So let's get right into it. Sunday, um, Buddy Austin couldn't join us, so we lost one of our three amigos. Um, so me and AJ ended up going down to the show a little bit early um, and uh, I had to you know you know uh, get a uh, get in the show and that was that was fun to get in the show um, but anyway uh, so we ended up at the show part two AJ's reptiles <laughs> <laughs> and Sunday was more of a day where I realized okay I need to walk around I need to film so I hardly did any filming of any really of any reptiles Saturday, but Sunday was my day where I really wanted to, to actually enjoy the show as like a spectator. So I walked around and I was looking at, at animals, kind of trying to see what I like and um, found some cool stuff. Um, Saturday, AJ had picked up some false water cobras and I was seriously considering grabbing one for myself. I would almost uh, I, I would be willing to Is this one male or female? I don't know. Yeah. That's one of the ones we have in sex. Do you pop them? Yeah. Female. It's my me right now. Oh. <laughs> yeah, get him. Don't let her chew him. Yeah, you gonna you gonna get uh infected. No, she's you gotta remember she's her her thing, yep. Yeah. Um so my main goal was to walk around, kinda see everything, um try to get as much footage of different species. I know people hate when I just shoot ball pythons. So Sunday was cool because I also <clears throat> actually started networking with a lot of people. Jesus, I can't talk. Oh, got dry throat. <clears throat> Gatorade. So yeah, Sunday was cool. Uh, met a bunch of new people that I, I had seen, maybe like their logos and whatnot, but never really got the chance to like talk to them. And uh, it was really cool that a lot of people were so open and, and uh, approached me. Uh, huge shout out to Kota's Constrictors. Um, he came and said what's up to me. We talked for a little while. Turns out he's really good friends with my buddy Javier over at JRG Reptiles. Who he was also there. Um, Hell Creek Reptiles, me and him had a pretty good chat. So he hooked me up with some stickers, uh, met Porter's Pythons. So that was that was pretty awesome. Uh, my buddy Gabriel from Reptile Addicts, uh, hadn't seen him in a long time. He stopped by Brian Bode's booth when I was there behind. <clears throat> we had a chat with um, MA Reptiles and Rodents as well. So just a couple of the stickers. That of people that I, I sat there and I had a chat with, I didn't grab, I didn't grab them all, but 
Um, this is the last one, Brian Fontaine, right here at Morph Evolution. Really cool dude, me and him, you know, had a chat for a little while. And then, <clears throat> for the better part of Saturday, towards the end of the day, I ended up hanging out behind Brian's uh, booth, Brian Boat's booth. Um, so, that was a lot of fun. It was it was nice helping you know them out with questions with customers walking by the booth, and um, that's one of the more enjoyable parts about it is that you get to interact with people that are really new to the hobby and um, just have a lot of questions that you get to answer. Um, and so that part for me was really fun. Um, I handed out a bunch of my my GDH T-shirts and and it was really cool, you know, especially you know when the kids would come and they want to hold things. Uh, that, that part was a lot of fun and made it worth it. And it's motivated me to want to go and get my own booth. Um, luckily, I've had a killer season. So I'm debating maybe doing a show in the next month or two where I can bring a lot of that stuff out and offer my animals for sale. Um, and then pretty much that was the end of Sunday. And then me and my buddy AJ, we went and had some food and we called it a day. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm gonna show off my newest pickup. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be in first video, second video, or if it's all going to be in one video, but I'm definitely going to show it off and we're going to wrap up this video. Uh, we got Snake Country, going to bust out some IMGs. Woo-wee! Call this guy Jeepers Creepers because of that tooth mark on his neck. Oh, sweet. Heck yeah. Check so this is up. a VPI IMG from Motley Jungle. Saddles on the front. Was it was it born that dark or is just now getting that dark? It gets darker with age. Yeah. IMG stands for increased oh, melanin yeah, gene, yeah, so it's going IMG to get darker IMG. with every shed. It's just oh, amazing. But yeah, it's, everyone it's has to love pretty sick. It won't get much darker than this now as it gets older. Yeah. All right, guys, uh, that's the video. Uh, let me know if you like this style where I kind of narrated the experience at the show. Um, made me really want to try something different instead of just shooting a bunch of clips and showing it to you guys. I wanted to really, you know, kind of explain the show and my experience and and to me it was it was a lot of fun. I mean, I, I can't wait to do it again. This is the whole experience and, and it happened so fast. I felt like I never really sat down. It's like we were always doing something and, and that's what you want when you go on trips like that. So if you guys saw me there, please let me know. Uh, what was your favorite experience at the Anaheim Reptile Show if you were there? Um, and then if you guys can, Click the links in the description. You guys can follow me on my other social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Jiggy, jiggy, jiggy. Oh, yeah. Papi <laughs> Muñano.